Hello YouTube, my name is Kangev and today I'm going to show you a very easy way to add a PNG tuber to any stream on any platform as long as you're using OBS. First step, make sure you have OBS downloaded. Second step, make sure you have your PNG tuber image. You need at least two images, preferably one with your character's mouth open and one with it closed for the talking and not talking images. I have four images of my character with eyes open and eyes closed. That way I can just combine the images into a GIF so that it looks like my character is blinking, whether she's in the talking state or the not talking state, like you can see here. The actual PNG tuber itself is completely up to you. You can do so many different things with it, and there's tons of cool people to commission for them. Right now, all I'm going to do is show you how to actually put that PNG tuber onto your stream. So the first thing you're going to want to do is look up React Fuji Tech. It should be the first one that shows up. It'll look like this. And you just want to log in with your Discord, and then it'll show you this page. So you have options here. Naturally, it will be set as your Discord avatar. This will be the same as if you're in a group with other people. It will naturally show their Discord image. So as you can see, I have set my default to be my PNG tuber. You can use a GIF or a still image. The left image is what will show up when you're speaking. and The right is what will show up when you're not. An important thing to note is that if one of your friends also uses the React Fuji tech on their streams, whatever image you have set as default is what will show up on their stream unless they go in and edit it themselves. And the same thing, if one of them has a default image set, that's what will show up on your stream. If you don't want your friend's default image or their Discord avatar to show up, you're going to do the exact same thing where they show up under group as you are for yourself, the way I'm about to show you. You just wanna choose the file that you've had from before. This is my talking image because my mouth is open. It will load that speaking image in here. You can change the name of this if you have multiple PNG tubers you'll be using. Mine's just default because it's the only one I use. If you wanted multiple, you would just add another one right here. Exact same thing, select the files for your speaking image, your inactive image, and name it. Then. You have all of these options in here. So for me, I have names hidden, but you do have these different options. Server nickname is the nickname someone has given themselves within the Discord server that you're in. Global nickname is the nickname they have everywhere in Discord. And global username is their actual Discord username. I would not recommend doing global username unless you have permission from everyone in the call. I recommend server nickname or just hiding the nicknames. I also highly recommend the dim image option. What that does is see how my speaking image is lit up and my inactive image is dim. That's all it does. When you're talking, your character lights up. When you're not, it's dim. Exact same thing with bounce effect. At the start of talking, you'll bounce up. I'll show you an example of that right here with my character. You see I'm talking and I'm bright. And then I become dim when I'm not talking and I bounce when I start talking. The other effect option is crossfade. See how it dims sort of slowly in and out. If you sometimes see people's PNG tuber moving when they're not talking, this is exactly why. Because it's Discord that is picking up this, not your OBS mic. So sometimes Discord picks up more than OBS because OBS has better settings for your microphone. But now that I've joined a Discord call, you can see this is me. This is just me by myself. And if I was in a group call, all of the people in my group would show up right here. These are two separate browser sources. The way I have it, I highly recommend keeping yourself and the other people in your call separate. This way you can make yourself, your character, larger than the other ones. Because if people are new to your stream, they may not recognize your voice. They may not know what your PNG tuber looks like. You want it to be obvious that it's you talking. You are the streamer, not one of your friends. So what you do for that is you click this copy button right here. Then you're going to open up your OBS. Sorry, you're seeing a thousand of my OBS now. You are going to add a browser source. I will create a new one for the sake of this. We'll call it PNG Tuber. Okay. And then you just want to paste that source right there. And now here I am going on for infinity. Then you would do the exact same thing for your group. You would just copy this, add another browser source, and it'll add all of your friends in. That's pretty much all you need to know. As long as you are in a call in Discord, even if it's just in a server call all by yourself, your PNG tuber will show up. And anytime someone joins the call, 
a little image will show up for them. The link to Fujitech and my Twitch channel are in the description and let me know in the comments if you have any questions.